please the court, the defendant appears in person with counsel Tom Lane. We cannot proceed today, obviously, with any preliminary hearing because the motion to dismiss has been filed, but the statute does provide some additional filings uh, at this point, and at, um, so I would turn it to, to Ms. Carl if you'd like to make any statements, and then I will turn to Mr. Irvine Bride and then Mr. Lemon. Your Honor, um, 19.717, the statute which you referred to, uh, indicates uh, that the state should uh, list the reasons for the motion to dismiss in the motion. I have done so. Um, at this time, the state has no further argument. Um, the state may have argument at a later time. The state would request the court to sustain the motion to dismiss and enter an order to dismiss it. Thank you, Mr. Irvine Durant. Court, Your Honor, Counsel. Your Honor, um, we strenuously object to this case being dismissed. The government has told you that they have filed a motion to dismiss this action. And I quote, the assigned prosecutor has conducted a diligent and thorough examination of all reports associated with this case. Well, one of the things I did in preparation for today was to contact Detective Mummy. And I asked him, did the district attorney's office from Johnson County bother to contact you to do an interview with you regarding your affidavit and your findings of your investigation? And he said, I was surprised to learn about this dismissal, and they never bothered to interview me to conduct an investigation of my findings, of probable cause, and all the work he had done in this case. Detective Mummy, the lead investigator, the man that did all of the work in this case, <clears throat> was never even contacted by the prosecution before the filing of this motion for a dismissal of this matter. The special prosecutor goes on to say that she wishes to inform the court in good faith that probable cause does not exist, that a crime has been committed, or that Jason Judd committed the crime. I suggest to you that the weight of the affidavit prepared by Detective Money versus the motion filed by the prosecutor leaves little reason to believe that the dismissal of this action is an appropriate legal remedy at this time. For my clients are just as deserving of justice as the defendant in the eyes of the law. There is not one shred of new evidence in the state's motion to dismiss not one shred of new evidence, not one new allegation, nothing. Let me make a comment before I turn to Mr. Lemon because in all fairness to other counsel, uh, we were set today originally for a preliminary hearing. The motion to dismiss was filed. We did have a short preliminary phone conference with counsel after there was indication that a motion to dismiss uh, was going to be filed. At that time, Mr. Irigan Durai had asked for time to file his objections and reasons for those objections. I did not set today's date for the hearing on the motion to dismiss. Uh, in deference to Mr. Irigan Durai, I had assumed we would wait until he had an opportunity to provide the objections and the reason for those objections in writing to the court. This morning he did file an objection, but it's a one-line objection just saying I object. Um, so I don't anticipate that uh, Mr. Lemon or Ms. Carl would have full responses to what Mr. Irigana Garay uh, made the statements. I intend to have full argument on these reasons at a later date. So we understand that none of us were here today to argue this motion, but we're here for basically a status conference. <clears throat> but with the only evidence that's out there, which isn't evidence, it's a statement that was made in the affidavit that was filed, which frankly we've been beaten over the head with for over a year now. 
I would like to respond to some extent to let the court know what you will be hearing so that there's uh, at least some balance to what's being said today. April 24th, Honorable Board, April 24th. Mr. Lemon, I would grant you 10 days thereafter. After I've seen the nature of, of what uh, information is filed, then I would uh, set this matter for, for argument on the motion to dismiss. 